Please be advised that Little Miss Recap contains adult language. Breaking news, breaking news. Little Miss Recap here to talk about it. Fucking a shit ass show. Party. I text Stephanie at 6 30 this morning. I was like, uh-huh. get your ass up. Yep. Watch after party and get on a call with uh-huh. me because we need to talk about it. You guys, I literally at 6 30 this morning laid in bed and watched <laughs> after party on my phone because I had to. Yeah. And holy fuck. This I was think, rough. I think what we're talking about, guys, is last night's Married at First Sight, which was season 17, episode 13, the stupidest name ever, Exploring mm-hmm. Intimacy at an Altitude. What there was an after party. We had prison brides in between, mm-hmm. and then we had the after party, and three. I, I would say there are two main things that are happening. One is Emily. She's not in a good way. Emily, okay, so what, what do you want to tackle first? Emily's attacks on Austin or Emily's attacks on Keisha? Can, why don't we do this? Let's get Brokeback Prince out of the way. Okay, I mean, he's fine. He's, there's not, what did he say? Nothing. Nothing, I just. He was like, I'm here. He looks very different. Yes. Um, I, I have to make a comment on he the looks glasses. Like, I'm sorry. He, he looks Fuck like a man. stage that Jude Law went through at some point. No, Jude, no, Amy. <laughs> You're not allowed to say that. He looks um, like an alien. Well, Those glasses I, that, remind me of... style, though. I that's know, I'm just saying. Yeah. It reminds me of the alien emoji. I can't, that's all that I mean. I know nothing about style, so that might be in at some point i mean Hmm. i feel like i know (laughs) i feel like i know stuff (laughs) i feel like i know a little bit more about style than you do i mean i'm not i'm but i'm not by any means not a you know a fashionista but this is this was bonkers i'm sorry but the thing about michael is he seems so mature and nice now oh yes oh yes or not that is going to come to bear we don't we'll find out we'll find out okay Let's get to Emily. So okay. on after Oof. party, Austin was there. Now I want to know your thoughts on Austin as a person, because to me he seems like a good dude, and you know I don't defend men often. I know. So I agree with you that I think he's a decent guy. I am starting to wonder if it's not a little bit of an act. I because... don't think it's an act in the way that Brennan is an act. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I mean, I feel like he's placating the process. Maybe, but at least he's being respectful. But I don't think he's being honest. But I feel like that's, that's, I feel like that's a a deeper problem. But at least, like, I don't feel like Becca's in some kind of danger. I don't feel like she's being hurt. I don't, you know what I mean? Oh, see, and that's where I disagree. I don't she, do I think yeah, she's in she's danger. I think she's being deeply fucking hurt. Dude, she has been saying every week that she doesn't feel like he's attracted to her. He doesn't put in the effort. He won't yeah, make a move. She is being hurt. I, I kind of meant is physically. Being hurt. But no, I yes, know. Emotionally, yeah. But she's emotionally being fucking terrorized. And I'm but I, I will stand by that. I just don't get like a psycho killer vibe off of him like I oh, do off no. of Brennan. I, I know. Oh, no, I don't either. I don't feel like he's a psycho killer. I just think he's one of these guys that can't be honest if he thinks he's going to upset you. Yeah, he can't have the hard conversation. He can't. And I think he's just placating until he can find a way to bail because I think he's just not in this. Austin has a vibe to me of somebody who – how do I put this? Hmm. I think he was always kind of nerdy. Yeah. And like a gamer and you know sure. what I mean? Like, and sure. isn't used to like, lit- like, and, and I'm not throwing shade. Like, you know, oh. I'm a gamer too. I get it. But I think that maybe he blossomed in his 20s in terms of looks and in terms of social mm. surroundings and okay. doesn't know how to navigate that. Because he seems, on some level, he seems to exactly know how to be in a relationship with Becca. 
But on another level, he seems very intimidated by her, by her confidence, by her, yes. you know what I mean? Like, I don't feel like he is on the same level with her. He's definitely not. But I do believe that he's not, not only is he not on the same level as her, my issue is I think that he is either just one, checked out, mm-hmm. two, mm-hmm. not attracted to her maybe. Mm-hmm. And I'm not – she's beautiful. That's not – I'm just coming up with a theory because there's literally no sense. Like none of this makes any sense that he's not even willing to try. Well, we need to put the spoiler out there. So if you yeah. guys don't oh. want to hear this, just shut it off because we're going to be talking about this the whole time. Mm-hmm. So the spoiler is that he has oh. a girlfriend that he had broken up with shortly before – And I'm trying to put myself in those shoes, in his shoes with this. Like, we need more information there. Like, was this a long-term relationship? Was it, you know what I mean? Like, if Mm -hmm. he had been dating this girl for like three years and they were in love and, you know, he had his heart broken and then he Mm -hmm. goes on this show, which I would argue he shouldn't have if that was the case. Of course. Um, That's very different than I was dating this girl for six months and it didn't work out and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So, like, what is the situation? But supposedly, they say yes on decision day, and then he backs out eventually, saying he wanted to go back with the other girl, or that something happened with that other girl that he was, you know, mm. into. Interesting. So, so it's like... So that uh, is, debunks my theory, though. So, like, is that what we're seeing? Are we seeing him just being as respectful as possible? But yes. Like, no, no. Amy, that but that's exactly what I'm saying. I think he's placating by being as respectful as possible, by coming off as a nice guy, because I, ge- I think maybe he is genuinely a decent guy. I just think for whatever reason, whether it's something that he doesn't like about Becca or whatever, or mm-hmm. this other s- previous situation, I think he's not – I don't think he's 100% committed to this, and I think he's using – I think he's hiding behind the guise of I take things too slow. But I think that's the whole point of this. Like, I think Austin and Becca are actually working the experiment the way it's supposed to be worked. Like, I agree I with can't, that to an I, extent. I, like, n- like, they can't say from week yeah. one, I'm 100% saying yes on decision day. Right. Right? Like, there has right. to be this period of exploration. Like, right. is this going to work? Is it not? I'm unsure. Da, da, da. Like, I think that they're doing it right. Now, whether or not he's being honest with her, I don't, maybe there isn't more to be honest about at this point. Maybe he, because he, I feel like there are moments when he goes above and beyond. Like, for example, they're lying in bed and she's saying like, what do you like about me? And he says something Mm -hmm. about her boobs, right? But then he says, but your smile and your laugh. And your laugh. And you're like, he goes, I do believe he likes her. I just think think he's like this other thing pulling at him. Right. But I think that other thing is the reason Mm -hmm. it has to be. Mm -hmm. There is a reason why he's moving as slow as he is and he's not being honest about it. It still boils down to the same thing. Like he can be a good guy. I really do think though that he, he is very prudish about sex on TV. Yes. Because even oh, on I After Beauty, he could yeah. barely talk about it. Yeah. And you can see when he is talking about it, he's always looking down or yeah. like not making mm-hmm. eye contact. Yeah, you can mm-hmm. tell he's uncomfortable. I get it. Yeah, 100%. So they're talking and Emily, who's, remember, has never been in a relationship, mm-hmm. has a lot to say about someone else's relationship. Where did she get off being so fucking unhinged? She was unhinged. She was, look, this is how I feel. She's got a legitimate beef with little Vlad over there. Like she is having a a day. Okay. And if she wants to lash out at him, she wants to lash out as Keisha as maybe part of the establishment. Fine. But why are you lashing out at Austin? I know. That's what I'm saying. She's fucking unhinged. And Why? I don't and, know. And also, I, I have to say this. Go ahead, go ahead. Who the fuck did, like, she, is she breaking Becca's confidence? That was what that I was, was going like, to say. 
I was like, if if you were confiding in me, Amy, yes, I would yes. never get on national television and throw right. beef at Timmy over something that you told me in fucking private. That will that never exactly happen. Exactly. My my next note was oh. I don't think Becca would have wanted her to either. treat Austin this way on her behalf. I don't think she would either. Like, no, regardless thank you. Regardless what the outcome is, because we mm-hmm. already know that this is filmed after the fucking fact. Because Keisha did say, um, or somebody did make comment of Chloe and then he's pretending in the episode that he hasn't married her yet, but they yeah, say okay, her name whatever. in the beginning. Like, yeah. come on. So we know that it's already happened. Like yes. there, whatever the outcome is, we know this is after the fact, but it's a hundred percent after the fact. Lest yeah. us not forget Sarah Colonna and Mary Redzinski were on after party mm-hmm. and we were like listening to their podcast when they were invited out to go to after party. Yeah, and I that know. was after the season was already done filming. So yeah, this is a hundred percent filmed afterwards. Hey everyone, stay tuned. Little Miss Recap will be right back after these words. So I wonder like, are her, are she and like, do you think Becca and her aren't like speaking or? I don't know. I don't know what's going on here, but I just feel like Becca would probably not appreciate this. Nope. This is in, in, look, I don't know these people, but mm-hmm. from what I've observed of Becca, she doesn't operate this way. No, nope. She's not going to nope. ro- roast somebody on national television. No. Nope. Because so let's get down to what was said. So Austin's like, Keisha's like, oh, it looks like you had a romantic night. And he's like, yeah, we had rose petals and blah, blah, blah. And Emily's like, really? Like, did you plan it? Because it didn't look that way. Yeah, I planned yeah. it. I picked it. What Production didn't give you those rose petals? He's like, well, yeah, we're on a TV show and they set up dates and shit for us. Yeah. But it was my idea. And she's like, oh, really? Mm-mm-mm. She's like, like, was it really your idea? Like insinuating, I thought she was insinuating that it was her idea. That's what I was like. She was insinuating it was production's idea. Oh, fuck off. She just, that left a real bad taste in my mouth. And I've been saying this about her from day one. I don't think she's a terrible human, but she is not a good fit on this show. Nope. All right. So then she starts talking to Keisha. And. Keisha's asking her about Brent. Now this, I watched this like two or three times and this yep. was like verbal salad. I don't know what was happening here. These two were, once, these but... two, the, the talking past each other, yeah. Keisha and Emily. Cause Emily's, she's trying to, she's real angry at Brennan guys, <laughs> real angry. But I feel like she's real angry at the world and I don't know why she's taking it out on these people. I think she's really angry at Married at First Sight and sees Keisha as part of that establishment. Mm, Makes sense. But I think that, so what happened was Keisha was asking Emily, like, what happened before the conversation with Dr. P, uh, you know, that went so south? And Emily is, you know, she's, like, a lot of it is, she's editorializing, right? She's like, well, he was gaslighting me and he was doing this and he was doing, and Keisha, I I honestly think at the end of it, and I'm no huge Keisha fan, but I Mm -hmm. think what Keisha was trying to do was give Emily an opening to say, here's what Brennan says off camera. Here's what he's saying on camera. And here's why I'm suffering the way I am. But like she was taking offense to it and it was weird. It was super weird. I don't think Keisha did anything wrong. In fact, I was in awe of how she did handle it because I don't know that I wouldn't have been like, bitch, who the fuck? I think think Emily has some real – I just wish, again, I wish she just would have said – I know. He's a nightmare. And she kind of did. Like, she started to say that off camera. He's screaming at her. He's Mm -hmm. throwing things. Okay. And that's when I have to – I have to ask, like – why the fuck production wouldn't step in when something like that's going on? Dude, I don't know. Amy, I don't know. that's no. I, that the throwing things against the wall and being oh, I do believe he's doing it. No, I do too, but I can't understand why production wouldn't jump jump in there and like not allow this to continue. Brennan is I think what scares me about Brennan is he's, he's very angry Brennan. and he's very angry at Brennan. Mm-hmm. Brennan hates Brennan. And mm-hmm. that is a problem he needs to get into fucking therapy and talk about. Yep. It's bad. It's bad. 
Um, but I think it was ridiculous. It was a poor, like, it was just, it was not a good look. No, for, it's for bad. And I do think Keisha was a little aggressive. Like, Keisha should have been, the minute that, like, if you're host and you sense that you're talking to someone and they're ruffled like that, back off. Back off a little bit. Like, she did that I, with Brennan. She backed off with Brennan when he got in her face. I, I kind of disagree. I'm going to disagree in that. I think she went a little bit harder because she had already seen how fucked up she was being to Austin. Maybe. Like, do you think in some way she was like being a little, do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, yeah, I, I don't know. I just feel I don't like, really know either. I just feel like Emily is angry. But I, yes. And I also think that Emily was being completely fucking disrespectful and rude. And I don't know if she did the wrong thing by pressing her. Like, why would you just, I don't know. I don't know that I would have been able to like, just let her talk to me like that and skate over it. I don't know. I don't she, think she, she was being, asshole. I don't think she was being rude. She was just being really forceful. Like, and, and she said to Keisha at some point, like, I don't have an answer for the question that you keep asking me. So can we ask a different question? And it was a moment of, hmm. <laughs> and even Keisha was like, hmm. But, but it wasn't an off the wall question. No, but I think Keisha needed to to like like I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Keisha as the host has the responsibility to take the temperature down a little bit. Yes. And I back know. off the questioning. Just as as her role as host. That's right. all. No, if I'm these two good. were in a bar chatting like this over a hundred percent, I would I would not, you know. Yeah, but she's maybe. the host and I think she needed to say, okay, this line of questioning isn't working. Let me try it a different way. Uh, and I, I think she did do that eventually. Yeah. Ugh, I don't know. It was rough. It was rough. It was fucking rough. And Emily, keep Austin's name out of your mouth. Yeah, seriously, dude. I just didn't like that because then did mm -hmm. you notice when Emily started to tear up and they go to commercial break, Austin leans over and comforts her. Like, I that's the kind that. of fucking dude he is. And that's you're fun. throwing him under the bus on national television. Whoa. That pissed me off. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just think she's a super bitch. I'm over her. I do think she needs to be taken the fuck out of this situation. A hundred Emily? Million. Emily. Like, a hundred million percent. I don't think she's a bitch. I just think she's oh, inexperienced, no. immature, oh. you know? But- the way she treated Austin tonight was bitchy. It wasn't great. It was that not was great. I'm I agree. sorry. Bitchy. I agree. I agree. Guys, come at us with your thoughts. What are you thinking of after party? And why, oh, why, oh, why, when they send us screeners, will they not send us after party? I don't know. Why and do we have why? to get up at 6 in the morning to record this? Not that I mind. I love this. Can I? I know. Seriously. But can we, at, like, why... What I want to know is why they're not filming after party when it's actually happening. All I know is I or, literally cannot wait for the reunion for this oh, season. I know. Oh, we do. But I do you know what I'm trying to say though? Like why yeah. it would or stop pretending that that it's happening at the time that it like just right, be like, real about the timeline. Right, which, well, because they can't spoil anything. Right. So, like, we can't have Emily be in there like, I fucking hate Brent. I'm so glad I divorced that dude. Like, we're not supposed to know that. Well, that's true. It's so, so stupid. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. Yeah, I guess. I um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Unless they did, like, a series of, uh, I don't know. I don't know how don't else know. they would do it without spoiling the outcome. What they could do is how, kind of how, like, Sister Wives does it with, like. Mm, talk back. Talk back. Mm -hmm. Talk back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or like just the confessionals. Like I feel like we don't really get much from confessionals here. Oh, like, yeah. We, we hardly get any at all. Hardly anything. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And let me just say, is the only therapist left in the world Dr. Pia? Yeah. No. Where's Pep? We, I mean, we saw Pep a little bit, but she's she's busy wrangling up Michael's. Dude, Castor Pell girlfriend. hasn't been on in like three weeks. Where's Castor he? Castor Pell? He's doing his app. Still? Listen. You don't want him here. He's going to make the situation worse. He's I don't know. Like, Brennan has some good points. You know, we don't, we don't need that. We don't need a Brennan apologist to enter the chat. No, 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 no. At this point, though, I kind of need to see someone else's perspective on this because we're only getting Pia's. 
Yeah, like we had like Dr. I need Pepper to meet with Brennan and Emily last week, and I feel like it was Dr. Pepper, and I feel like it was cut and edited very yeah. heavily. Yep. Like I need to see unedited footage yeah. of yeah. the hot tub meltdown yep. and Pep and Cal sitting in their own hot tub watching yeah. it on a 32 inch screen with yeah. beers in their hands. And I need prison cam. Wait, could you imagine this? No. <laughs> Caster Bell Pep in a hot tub. FaceTiming each other. <laughs> and they're watching. <laughs> That's like my dream is to be in a hot tub with you and Amanda and watching the Cody and Janelle fight just on loop on a big screen huh? TV while we're drinking. Oh, we're going to make that happen. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, guys. Mm-hmm. Thanks for letting us vent about this. We had to uh, wait. And whenever something happens about uh, like intense on After Party, this was, yeah, this was and then we put out our episode and we had no fucking knowledge of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Good morning. Okay. Love you. Bye. Love you.